Today we will be seeing how an M1 MacBook Air does against Geekbench 4. And this is the iOS version of Geekbench 4. So it's going to be interesting to see how it compares. And as you can see over here, it's assuming that I'm on an iPad Pro right now. And it's assuming I'm on the latest iOS with an A12X and that I have 8 gigs of RAM in my iPad right now. So this will be funny to see. So we might as well start off with the CPU benchmark here. And here's the final score. You can see that it scored 7,363 on the single core and it scored 27,917 on the multi core. And let's go ahead and compare that to other devices. And on multi core, you can really see the difference. So, multi core here is basically 10,000 more points on the M1 versus the iPad Pro, which still isn't terrible for an iPad. And if you scroll down here, you can see how the other iPads all scored close, but once you get to like the iPad Air, then it starts to drop before low 11,000 and then 9,000 and so on. But yeah, that's the CPU test there. I'm going to go ahead and do a compute test now. Okay, and here's our compute score. 71,133 on the metal. And as you can see, it's about 30,000 more points than the latest iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro isn't actually too bad. It's pretty close to the M1, which is incredible to think about because MacBook's a computer and then an iPad's literally just a tablet. It'll be cool to see the M1 chip compared to the newer Apple chips coming out soon such as the M1X or whatever it's going to be named, and also the chip for their iPads, which will be pretty cool. But yeah, that was a quick test for you guys, and let me know down below if you'd like to see any other comparisons. These are always fun to do just to see how like M1 chips compare to the iPad and iPhone lineup, and I hope to see you guys again soon.